All right, so first to take this off, I think originally these came with Phillips head screws on them. Mine have been replaced with hex head because I stripped out the Phillips head long ago. So you got two screws on the back of your controls here that hold them on. Okay, with those off, it just pulls apart like so. And you got these, it'll just kind of slide out like that. So now that you got it apart here, the next easiest thing to do is right on the back of your brake, you have the little two connectors for your brake light. Unplug those and now you got full access to this bad boy. Alright, now that you got that off, you need a Phillips head screwdriver. You can see inside here, things are held together with this zip tie. So you'll carefully take out this one screw here. Don't lose it, it's a small guy. So once it's out, you have access to everything. Your wires are loose and you can look at this and see there's your start button on the bottom, your emergency kill switch on the top. So that's going to be your kill switch, this is going to be your start button. Now to get this out, it's kind of hard to see, but there's one Phillips head screw right there. Take it out. Now you can see this whole deal will just pull out. There you got your one side of the contact. You got, it's hard to grab it out of there. You got your spring, the fat end of the spring goes up. So the fat end is going to go into this white piece here like that. So set your spring aside and then you look down there more you got the actual push button itself and it just pushes right out no problem and there's your contact. So the way this works grab that spring is it sets in there like this and every time you press this button it goes down and that spring compresses and allows the two contacts to make. So you got a contact there and you got your contact there. And mine are looking a little bit dirty. You can see right there in the center it's all black. This one here in the center is all black. So now we're going to clean that up. So now there's a thousand and one ways you can clean these contacts. I prefer just sandpaper. I just take some regular, this is 150 grit sandpaper, what I got laying around. And I Just polish that. Once you get that side done, you'll come over to the button side, same deal. And you're just polishing it, it's nothing. You're not trying to take off a whole abundance of material, just the black junk. So I don't know if you can see that, it's still got some black in the middle. And you'll know this is a problem basically because you'll go to try to start your bike and nothing will happen. You press the button and nothing will happen. The starter won't engage, nothing happens. You don't hear the relay click, nothing. And it's one of two things. Either A, you got another safety switch, like you didn't pull your clutch in, your side stands down, something like that. Kill switch is on, you know, some something like that. Or if all that isn't the problem, the problem is your button. And this is, like I said, in 75,000 miles, this is the probably fourth time I've had to clean mine. So, once you get those done, the spring, there isn't much to do with the spring. I like to just take and, I don't know that it matters, but I like to polish both ends of it. Just a slight polish, nothing, nothing much. Then, once you get all that done, it's time to put it back together. So first, this guy, he just sets in there, like I said, it just plops in. It's kind of hard to, to show you and do it at the same time, but... So, he, ah. so now that's in there. Just push him down, and then what I like to do is you get some electrical contact grease. 
This is special grease. This isn't what you put on wheel bearings. This is specially electrically related rated grease. And I usually put it in the spring because it'll mostly stay there. And as soon as you slide this spring down on that black button, the grease will kind of help to hold it there. And then this guy, once you've cleaned him, he goes back on the top. So you got to hold that there with one finger while you grab a little tiny screw that goes in there. Don't drop it if you can. Get your screwdriver. Tighten that all back down. Now before I go any further, the next thing I like to do is turn it over and press that button a few times. Now you're smashing the grease up in there and you're just making sure the button works. So then it's just a matter of going backward. Alright, to put this back together, it's kind of hard to see, but your two wires for the brake will come out the side here while the rest of your bundle of wires comes out the middle. And you got to be careful you're not pinching nothing. Otherwise, you'll have issues. So it goes just like that. So once you get it all put back together, make sure you're in neutral. If you're in neutral, then you don't have to worry about your clutch switch. If you're in a gear, it will not start unless you have your clutch pulled in. Kickstand up. Turn the key on. You let the fuel pump prime. Once you hear it stop, 